hello welcome to another ultimate game host video tutorial today we're going to look at setting up sql admins for source mod using the control panel's new extra feature the mysql database and the source mod add-on of course first we'll install source mod this uh, stock counter-strike source server which is currently set up as the vanilla counter-strike source to do that we'll go into the add-ons tab Choose common add-ons. We'll check the box for source mod and metamod source. We'll enter in a Steam ID here. I'll just make one up for the purposes of this initial part. We'll add a real one later. Click on apply and yes and OK. It's now installing source mod. And once it comes back in HLSW, we'll be ready to continue with the next part, which will be configuring the MySQL database in the source mod settings and setting up the plugins that we need for MySQL. So the server's back, source mod and metamod source are installed, we're all set to go with that. Let's go ahead and open up the web panel again and we'll get some database information here. I'm going to reinstall the database to make sure everything's fresh. Do the login info, select this, choose copy, click OK. We'll come back over here open up FTP. I've got a link set up to the CSS server already so I can connect quickly in. We want to go into add-ons, source mod, configs, and we need to edit the databases.cfg file. So I'm going to select that, right click, view slash edit. Here we have it. I've got another blank notepad document open here. I'm going to paste the database information I took from the web panel here. We're going to replace out some values. So we want to change the host to 127.0.0.1. We want to change the database, the database name. So we'll paste that there. Again, making sure that you keep the quotes as you go through. Change the username. It's not root. It's this. And we'll change the password like that. Again, making sure you're within the quotes. Do a file save. Close that out. In a second we upload it. There we go. Now we have to choose the plugins that we want to enable. So we'll go up a directory and then into plugins and disabled. I'm going to refresh here. We have a couple options. We are required to have the admin manager for SQL. So I'll go ahead and drag that up here to the double dot. And that takes it out of the disabled folder and puts it into the plugins folder. And we need one of these two plugins. Uh, the basic difference between the two is prefetch is simpler. It loads all the data from the database on map change. It acts similar to the flat file database before the admins underbar simple.ini and works quite similar to that. The threaded loads admins dynamically as the game's progressing. It's a little bit more experimental, but it's also more highly functional in that you can make more changes while things are still going. We're going to use the prefetch today just for the simplicity of it. So I'm going to drag that up into the plugins. We'll look up here again. So we got the admin manager and the admin SQL prefetch. Those are now in the plugins directory and should be loaded when the server restarts. So I'm going to go up here in the control panel, we'll restart the server. And when the server's done restarting, we should be all set to go, but we'll check and make sure those plugins are loaded. Okay, so the server's finished restarting. We'll go over to the Archon tab in the control panel, and we'll do SM Plugins List. And this will show us if we've done it right, enabling those plugins. So once it comes back, we have number 14 here you can see, SQL Admin Manager, that's correct and loaded. And number two up here, SQL Admins Prefetch is correct and loaded. So the two plugins we moved around are now enabled and ready to go. I'll clear that out. We'll go over to the Extras tab so we're ready for the next step. I'm going to open up FTP again. I'm going to go up a directory, we'll go into the configs, SQL init scripts, MySQL. We're going to take this createadmins.sql file. I'm going to right click, do view edit. So we have a copy of it. I'm going to do edit, select all, because we want to 
to copy all of this over to the control panel. We'll do edit and copy. And back at the web panel. I'm going to paste that data here to create the database. Do run SQL. So the database is now set up and ready. I'm going to hit clear here. We'll go to the Archon tab for the server. And we have to run a special command here to make sure the tables for the database are all set and ready to go. So we'll do SM update ADM tables. We'll send the Archon command. Okay, command was successful. We're already up to date. I'm going to clear that. Do control. I'm going to reboot the server one more time. Check on it in HLSW. Okay, server's back up. Let's take a look at the MySQL database and extras. We'll run show tables. See what we have. All right, so we've got the admins, admins groups, config, group immunity. Now what I'm going to do here is attempt to add myself as an admin using Archon via the control panel. So I'm going to go in here and I'll copy a command in that I wrote earlier, but I'll explain it before I run it. This is a SM underbar, so source mod underbar SQL underbar add admin and a name diesel. The authentication method is the Steam ID. You could also use name or IP here, but Steam ID really is the most secure and portable method for verifying your admins, followed by the Steam ID. And then of course the flag Z for root admin with all access. I'm going to do send archon. Commands completed successfully and the admins added to the database. Let's go over the extras and see if we can see that. So I'm going to do select star from We'll use the table name up here, the SM admins. Put the ending semicolon and run SQL. And there we have it. I'm now in the database. So what I will do now, because we're using the prefetch, we're going to want to reload the map to, to recycle that admin data. I'm going to restart the server one more time. And once it comes back up, I'll join the server and test out the admin functionality, make sure it's all working. Okay, so the server is back up. I'll head in game now and make sure it's working. Okay, so I've joined the server now. You can see that I'm on there. And if I press my um, button for the admin bind, which I'll just, I'll just bind it again to uh, illustrate that, we're going to do a bind. I'm going to bind the X key on the keyboard. We'll call the command SM admin. I'll hit enter. The key's bound. If I hit X, it brings up the admin menu. So we know that the admins are working. I'll just try a player command here. That was refreshing. And I'll just do another one here. We'll choose a new map. Let's go to office. Office is always a good choice. Good choices. So you can see the uh, SQL admins are working properly just like the flat file. And there you have it.